Hi Libra, this is Genevieve with Belly Down and Moonbeams. How are y'all doing? I'm doing quite well. This is the weekly reading for March 1st through March 7th, 2021. And I had a great weekend. Let me tell you a little bit about it. One of the things that I learned was that the goddess, the god, source, the universe, whatever you want to call it, lives within me. I am part of the divine. You are part of the divine. Let's think about that for a minute. We are divine. We are gods and goddesses. So when I'm sitting back like this, exhausted, I'm not embodying the goddess. I need to sit up. I need to be proud. I need to honor me. I need to honor the goddess in me. And so do you. I always knew this up here. But somehow it made it all the way down to my heart to where it's believable. And you need to do that too. And that's one of the things you can achieve by shadow work. Just saying. Okay, so the first thing I get for you, Libras, is that you've got a lot of projects going on. Things are happening. But there's obstacles. And you're not real happy about those obstacles. You're like, Ugh, I just want to say, be fixed. Well, you know... It doesn't always happen that way. We got to work through the stuff to get to the point of success. We got to do one step at a time. So what do you need to do? What do you need to open the veil and see is beyond that? Because these obstacles are to teach you lessons. The big things in life that we have, we planned in the spirit world. We knew what we were getting into. So we come down here. Now I'm not talking about the minutia. It did not mean that I knew I was having, what did I have for lunch? I don't remember. Um, I really don't. Oh, I just street talk them. <laughs> just saying. Um, but it didn't, I, I don't think that that is what I planned, but the bigger things, the, starting to read tarot online, starting becoming a witch. All of these things are part of who I am. Reading Edgar Casey at 13 and just learning truth from that. Those are all part of me. Okay, now we get the page of Pentacles. And this is telling me that you need to do some more studying or learning to get through those obstacles. This might mean just Googling some information but it's definitely necessary. You have to continue to grow in your field. You have to continue to grow as a human being. We do get the world card, flip it over. Bloop, 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 bloop. And the world is all about success and having things come true and having good luck. But it's because it was reversed, it's saying that it's not happening right now. It's still gonna happen if you do the work. If you do the studying or take the class that you're supposed to take, learn what you're supposed to learn and get past, open that forest. Now we get the Knight of Wands reversed. Knight of Wands is all about communication. This is telling me that you are not communicating like you should. You're trying to run it all. You're trying to fix it all. You need to communicate. Reach out and touch someone. Because as you communicate, you are going to grow into the person you're meant to be. And finally, we get the chariot. The chariot, I mean, he's right driving this chariot, but he doesn't have the reins in his hands. He got a wand in his hands, like this one. And the wand is, he's doing the control with his mind, not his instinct, his mind. He's mind controlling it. He's able to control it because he's got that power. And so do you. If you own it, if you achieve it, if you say, this is my power, this is mine, then you've got it. Now I'm going to pull a card from the Earth Magic Oracle deck. I am freaking in love with this deck. And the card I get is instinct. This card is such an amazing card. 
some of y'all on the weekly reading got this card. Instinct is what drives us to want better. Instinct is what drives us to want to understand the universe. Instinct is what drives us to eat or to sleep because we need those things. What is your instinct saying to you? Okay, by the way, I'm going to show you these gorgeous earrings. See these? My granddaughter made these. She's Fiona the Fay on Instagram. I know, shameless. Also, this is a Labradorite. This is an Aquarius stone, but it's also all about psychic empowerment and learning things. Namaste, y'all. If you want to do a pro oh, I'm telling you, I ordered three of these today to sell on my Etsy store. Namaste, y'all. If you want to do a private reading, send me a text to 405-512-9400. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel.